This next little project is for a friend. Um, this is a drive wheel off of an AgriCat tractor built by the Jost Manufacturing Company in Berkeley, California back in the 50s. Uh, they're no longer in business, but um, the tractors are still around. Um, I'll show you some stills of it at the end of this video. Um, what he needs, um, the two rear axles are independent drive uh, wheels. That way you can turn it. It's got steel tracks. And what happened is um, he spun the splines out of the hub. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to machine this out. Uh, he found a uh, 10 spline hub, uh, I think Granger. He got it at Granger. Um, fits his axle perfect. He already checked it. Um, so I got to machine this out for this to be pressed into it. Um, he doesn't want to use this adjuster anymore, so I'm going to put a, a chunk of uh, steel in here and, and weld it up. So that way there'll be no more adjustments. And that way when I uh, press it in, and weld it, I'm not going to get any flexing or deviations in here. So uh, first step is to uh, cut a chunk of this cold rolled flat bar and we're going to press that piece in there, uh, MIG weld it up and then uh, the long boring, boring operation uh, since I don't have a drill bit this size or even close to it, I think one inch is the biggest one I have and this is already over an inch. Um, so I'm going to have to bore this out, uh, make it two thou under or something, and press this in, um, bevel the edges so I can get a nice weld bead around both sides, and then uh, uh, surface it flat because this, this has a, a washer basically that holds the drive wheel onto the axle, and then of course uh, face that. So that's what we got ahead of us. Um, let's get started. couple close-up shots of what we have right now. It's an 18-inch wheel too, by the way. And then this has to go there. Okay, our chunk of bar stock needs to be uh, 2.820 thousandths and 1.200. So, got our uh, marks a lot sharpie mark on there. And yeah, let's mark it up. And then 2.820, 2 inches, 820 thou. Right, over to the port of saw. Okay, I got a little cleanup in here I need to do. Right here, there's a piece of steel um, hung over here. I gotta grind that flat, and then I would need to clean up inside of there so when I weld it, actually I need to clean the whole thing up. So uh, let me get set up to do that. Uh, grind this little chunk tit thing 
off first and then our slug should slide right in there. Okay, that's done. Let's cut our piece and see how it fits in there. All right, I'm gonna have to clean that up because it fits on this side. It starts to go in there anyway, but I can feel a lot of crap in there. So I'll get that clean up and then bring you back in. got her all cleaned up now I'm going to press in our slug um, it's loose fit here but it's a little snug fit back here so I think it's going to work out good and then um, I'm going to have to mill off the step that ends up here so I'll press that in real quick and then we'll uh, start getting set up on the mill sorry guys I just misspoke I need to tap this guy in here and weld it all up then we'll work on getting it set up on the mill so let me get this uh, tapped in and set up to weld it. Be right back. I went to go tap the slug into the wheel and uh, it was a little too tight for my liking. So I'm going to just uh, shave off about five foul and uh, it should slip right in for a snug fit. Got to give the Mighty Web a little juice. Been a while since it got any oil. All right, bring in for the cut. Nine hundred RPM, one inch end mill. Oh, inch and quarter, sorry. Like butter, baby, like butter. Okay. 
There's our surface finish. Oops, kick the stand again. I took five off, it's still a little snug. That's still too tight for my liking. I think I might take another five off. And it is. Sounds like the wire speed's too fast. No, it's perfect. You like it like that? Yeah, look at it. It's perfect. It's a nice hot weld. How'd the vid turn out? Pretty good. It's a little bright at first. And when you get in here. Okay. Am I gonna block it? Yeah, you're good. Okay, don't don't go fast. Don't yeah, right there. Did I get you? You have to turn this on? Yeah. Oh shit, no wonder. Okay, do that again. Oh, that's much better. Do the uh, front of it. What do you mean the front of it? Right here? Yeah. Let's let that cool and then we'll flip it over. Go ahead. Do the big part. Well, it's zoomed in.
it all buried in. Alright, let that cool a little bit and then I'll hit the other side. Pretty nice. All right, hit the other side. You want to come from this side? No, it's okay. Ready? Yep. Pretty good. See the finished product. Good Not job, bad. Philip. Not bad. Okay, I just want to do some quick cleanup on the slug that uh, we just welded in and cleaned up a little bit. Um, nothing real precise here. This is just to remove that chunk out of there. I found this is the easiest way to do it. Um, I'll take the camera off the stand and show you how I viced it up. It's special, just sitting on two uh, thick parallels and I got uh, two aluminum soft jaws uh, with a little V-wedge V, v wedge cut in one of them. Um, I pounded it flat up against them, so we're against the machine surface. That is the important surface. And uh, we're just going to start taking little bites out of this until we get it cleaned up. All right, I set my depth stop so I don't hit the inside of that hub. So here we go.
Okay, all cleaned up in there. Left a little bit of meat for some detailing. So uh, off to the next step. Got it set up on some uh, thick parallels. Um, it's just in here snug. Um, next step is to um, get this bore running straight up and down. Um, I won't bore you with all those details. I'm sure everyone knows how to do this by now. And of course, I'm going to get that bore centered on the spindle. So um, once I get that, get it all torqued down, uh, I'll bring you back and get the boring head set up and we'll go from there. Hey guys, we're going to have to take a break from the tractor drive wheel project. Um, I just got called out for the ALS ice bucket challenge. Um, so I need to take a break from this and round my older daughter up, get that videoed and done. Um, I'll give you all the details in the video, who called me out and who I'm going to be calling out. See you soon.